Randy from Jacob's Triangle. Welcome to the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click on the red subscribe button down below. Now, since we bought the new trailer, new to us trailer actually, we decided that we would go ahead and give it a test drive this morning, or a test sleep, and give it a sleep in it for the weekend. So, it's actually two new things that we did. We um, slept in the trailer for the first time, and we also spent the night on our property for the first time. All the time that we've owned it, well it hasn't been that long, we've owned it for almost four years, we've never spent the night over here. So, two birds with one stone. We tested out the trailer and we stayed the night on our property. It, um, that's pretty uneventful. You know, there's things that we went ahead and did while we were here. What we did, you know, we cleaned up the old trailer and got it ready to sell. And I cleaned up, you know, took the tractor out and cleaned up all of the brush around the property because it's tall and it's a fire hazard, so it needs to be knocked down. So I've decided I'll just go ahead and disc it. Things that I've learned about the trailer is that the big slide out needs to be adjusted because it doesn't quite slide out right and it's not level. Our dining table really demonstrates that because it doesn't sit flat to begin with, but if you put anything on it, it rolls off right to the back side. So we got to figure out how to fix that. Um, silly little things. There's no toilet paper holder in the bathroom. you got to have a toilet paper holder. And Jennifer started going through and started measuring the little holes, you know, cabinets and everything to see what sizes they are so we can start figuring out what type of storage we need to put into things. I did use the outdoor kitchen for the first time. I think it's probably the first time it's ever been used. The grill definitely has never been used. It was still, the grill was still wrapped in plastic. So that was kind of a, a cool thing to actually get to be the first one to use something on this. And the outdoor kitchen works pretty good. It does, I think, need a little bit more light. So that'll be a project at some point. I did take a shower to see how it will work over here and, you know, I don't really understand RV trailer or RV bathtubs because they're always elevated above the floor. So, you know, I'm not quite six foot tall, but it puts my head right up at the ceiling in there. You know, they do do a pop-up dome over the shower, but it just seems to me that, you know, they should do it at the ground level. I believe that the, the water tank, you know, the gray water tank where the old water goes, or used water, I'm sorry, where the used water goes, I believe it's right directly underneath the bathtub, but I still, you know, the, the tank, the other tanks, you know, the regular water tank and the sewer tank are underneath in the frame, so I don't understand why the gray water tank can't be underneath the frame also, and it just seems common that it's under the bathtub and it's raised up. Go figure. So, we did figure out a few things with the trailer that we need to take care of. Like I said, you know, the slide needs to be adjusted because it doesn't open up quite right, so it's not level. The bed actually is pretty comfortable, so I think we're both happy with that. In the video, when I introduced the trailer, I didn't say that it was a used trailer. It's a new to us trailer, but it is a used trailer. It's a 2018, so it's roughly two years old. And. Being a used trailer, you know, it has some issues that we need to address. Most of what we need to address in the trailer is cosmetic issues. You know, the heater vents, somebody, whoever was in here before, stomped right on top of every single heater vent and bent them in. And, you know, there's other little things. There's screws that are loose that need to be tightened up. The towel bar in the bathroom, the screws have backed out, and I need to actually put mollies in the wall because the wall's hollow. So, you know, we've got silly little things like that that we've got to take care of. You know, plus we have to figure out our storage. Everything else seems like it you know, works perfectly good. We use the stove, it works good. The outside grill works good. So we're, we're happy with it. I think we had a good test run this weekend. We'll probably do another test run for a few days soon. Um, one thing that I am discovering is it did come with a single battery and it seems like that battery is weak. It's, you know, we haven't even been quite a day today not really using the battery and it's about dead. I need to get the generator and plug in to charge it back up again. So I hope you enjoyed. This is going to be a quick video just you know letting you know what what we're doing. They were getting getting things going to get over here and get busy on the property. So until next time thank you for stopping by. 
I appreciate everybody's support, and I'll see you next time.